Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com, and it's Tuesday, November 11th. Well, there's no smiling faces around here tonight because, you know, as each day goes by of the last couple of days, uh, we're forced to uh, see reality for what it is, and that there's a very good possibility that this last call is not going to play out uh, the, the, the way I called it. Um, as each day goes by, the odds uh, change on the fact that this uh, reverse head and shoulders is going to play out. Uh, there's still a sliver of a chance, but um, I think we have to uh, take a look at other, uh, other scenarios that could possibly happen. So, um, how do you know? How do you know when your, you know, your call is wrong? And one of the ways I've always told people that you can feel it inside. If you have a couple of days where you actually feel like you're carrying 50 pounds of bricks down the street uh, when you're looking at your trades, uh, then the chances are uh, that you're wrong and you need to do something about it. So tonight's video is more about the possibility of being wrong, uh, facing it, and what are we going to do about it. Well, you know, as you see, I've already uh, stopped out three positions. Uh, they violated uh, key areas. Um, I gave them a chance, um, and as each day went by, uh, they didn't get any better, and they started to get a little bit worse. And so each day moving forward from here, any of the latest picks that I just made, if they start to violate uh, those key areas I pointed out, uh, chances are we're going to lighten up. Unless or until the market can get some kind of legs underneath it. Now, when we look at the, when we look at the indexes, there, you can still make a case that it looks like reverse head and shoulders, but the tape is so heavy and the selling is so relentless. I mean, we finally got uh, we finally got a rally going late this afternoon, and then by the end of the day, it was you know it had died on the vine again. So I don't know what it's going to take, um, um, you know, to uh, get the market going again on the upside. But uh, until it happens, I um, have to stay very defensive. And uh, like I said, uh, you know, you have to face reality, and there's a possibility that uh, this is not going to play out the way I thought it was going to. So um, I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to blow everything out uh, day by day, probably lighten up a little bit each day until I get a clearer picture. So uh, uh, we'll have to look at other scenarios. You know, there's scenarios that uh, we'll come down and test the lows and hold and maybe start up, or there's a chance we come back down and don't hold the lows. And uh, so um, anyway, that's what this uh, video is about, is the possibility that this call it's not going to play out the way I thought it was going to, and we need to face we need to face the reality of that, and uh, we have to do something about it. So uh, no new calls tonight. Uh, we will take a look at uh, the indexes, and I'll go over a couple other scenarios uh, that uh, that are likely. Okay, so don't go away. Okay, this is the Dow da uh, daily bar of the Dow, and uh, you know we're going to look at some other scenarios, other possibilities now. I have my visual aids in because, you know, the case can still be made for this reverse head and shoulders. Nothing's been violated yet. What makes me leery of it and, and think that there's this very, you know, good strong possibility that it's not going to play out as I had first envisioned it is because the tape is so heavy and the persistent selling that's going on. And if it just carries on one more day, then it is going to get violated. But as of right now, I just wanted to show you that that scenario is still a possibility. But as each day goes by that we do not get a rally to take us back up into the top part of this box, the odds increase that it's not going to hold up so well. So what are some of the other scenarios? Well, one of the other scenarios is that we come down to the bottom and uh, we test the low down here. Test this low. Bounce off it. I, I don't visualize it breaking that low on any visit, not the first time down anyway. Uh, and then a kickback, uh, some kind of a rally, uh, back up to, to us, hopefully our resistance area up here. 
Um, there is a possibility that the that the uh, the low gets broken, and if it gets broken substantially, then we have a whole new scenario on our hands, which is another leg on the downside. I, I think that's the least likelihood uh, event to happen uh, as of right now. Um, if the head and shoulders pattern doesn't hold, then I see a test of the lows and then a rally back here. Now you can see we're in some sort of a trading trading range, and that's another that's the third possibility. We could trade within this trading range for uh, who knows how long. Uh, so those are the three scenarios here with the Dow. Let's go take a look at the transportation average. Okay, here's the transportation average, and I'm, I'm you know I just want to show you that it still has this look of a reverse head and shoulders. But to complete it, we need to get a rally. And the selling in the market just has to come to an end, and we need to get a rally. Otherwise, uh, this neckline will get violated, and uh, the look will lose the whole entire look. And then what scenario after that? Well, then that scenario is uh, a test of the lows, similar to the Dow. We test this low area down here, and uh, I, like I said, I think first time down it bounces, and uh, then maybe we trade back up to the top end of the range, and, and we could stay in this range for quite a while. That's another scenario. If we take the low out substantially on the downside, then we're going to have another leg on the downside, and all the patterns will have to be rebuilt, and um, you know that would be the worst thing that could happen as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, we, we need to look at it as a possibility. Now, we're not going to look at all the indexes tonight, but we will take a look at the QQQQs. Okay, we have, we're looking at the QQQQs, and once again, I'm using these visuals to show you that uh, it's still, uh, you know, it's still within the framework of this reverse head and shoulders, but uh, because of the heaviness of the tape, and as each day goes by without the rally, just increases the odds of it uh, of the shape of this changing. So, uh, but as of tonight, I have to say, you know, you could still make a case for that, but uh, not as strong as a case as I would have two two or three days ago. So, what else could happen here? Well, very similar to the uh, uh, with the other indexes, uh, we could come down, test these lows. Bounce back up because we've got somewhat of a trading range. That's a little too high. Something more like that. Uh, if we hold the lows and we start back up, uh, then we've got this resistance here. And like I said, we we, this, this, we we could trade within this within this uh, trading range for quite a while. Um, worst case scenario, the low down here gets taken out substantially, and we get a whole new leg on the downside, which uh, is something I don't really want to see. But uh, you know, if it happens, it happens, and uh, we'll we'll play it that way. So as of right now, there's a lot of unanswered questions. I think the next day or two will uh, will uh, make the picture a little bit clearer. Certainly, a good strong rally tomorrow or the next day without any more uh, deterioration would certainly help the uh, help the picture. So um, that's what we have to look forward to tomorrow, and that's uh, that's what, how I see it. So until tomorrow, this is TK signing off.